look cheap, look more luxe, look more expensive in your clothing without breaking the bank is exactly what today's video is all about. And I am super excited to share this video because these are tips and tricks I have been doing like literally since I was in high school. You guys, I have lived on so many different budgets, tight budgets, not so tight budgets. So I definitely know what it's like to live on a tight budget. And this honestly really hits home with me right now on a personal level because I am going through a divorce. So my financial situation is you know, definitely going to change. It's not gonna be the same. I'm not gonna feel as financially secure you know, after my divorce as I did when I was married and that's okay. So I'm gonna have to make some adjustments. So these shopping tips and style tips will help you look expensive even if you are on a budget. Make sure you listen to this entire video because the last tip is my personal favorite and it is one I have been practicing for years and truly, truly believe in. I do publish a brand new video every single week and I have made it my mission to help women of all ages, but specifically women over 40 to look and feel like the best versions of themselves because I believe we all deserve to look and feel confident. So if that sounds good to you, if you would please hit that little subscribe button, I would truly, truly appreciate it. I would love to thank Silk and Salt for sponsoring this video. There's gonna be a few looks corresponding with the style tips that I'm sharing today. And a couple of these looks are by Silk and Salt. You guys, everything is very casual, very comfortable, but the best part is it's all very budget friendly. You guys actually will get 20% off with my special code, Heather20, which will be linked down below in my description box. I'm actually gonna be sharing a total of 10 outfits along with these seven style and shopping tips to look more luxe on a budget. And everything that I'm talking about, as always, will be linked down below in my description box. Okay, tip number one in order to look more luxe on a budget is dress in a monochromatic format. And what that means is wearing the same color from head to toe. Bonus points if that color is camel. You guys, I don't know why, but camel like literally always looks expensive. I don't care if it's a camel coat, a camel blazer, a camel sweater, like it really doesn't matter. Camel looks luxurious. So anytime you're wanting to look more expensive, I would say choose a neutral color like camel. It goes a long way and again, it's always gonna look luxe. So you guys, this set is super comfortable. I've actually been getting some requests from you guys saying, Heather, we want some casual looks. You know, we love your dressy looks, but we need some more like casual everyday looks. Well, here you go. This camel set from Silk and Salt is so soft. It's so comfortable. It's like luxurious loungewear, if you will. You could easily take this sweater and pair it with denim, but I loved wearing the monochromatic look again because I said it looks more luxurious and more more expensive than it really is. You guys, this sweater and matching jogger pants are extremely affordable. And don't forget, you'll get an extra 20% off with my special code. I love the turtleneck. It's cozy. It's warm. The joggers are so comfortable. They're high waisted. So they're actually flattering. You know, a lot of joggers are like low waisted and like way too baggy. Well, because these are high waisted and more of a slim fit, they're actually very you know, flattering and very slimming for a jogger. I paired them with this fabulous Karen Millen faux fur teddy jacket. You guys, this jacket is amazing. I love the camel shade. It's beautiful, it's luxurious looking, but it's also very budget friendly. I love the really cool like high collar. It's sort of oversized in a really amazing fashion forward way. Then I went with these amazing white booties. These are actually by Dolce Vita, you guys. So comfortable. In fact, I wanna show you the heel of these booties so that you really get an idea of how comfortable they are. But because they have this chunky square heel, they're very wearable. You guys, I can wear these booties all day long and my feet never hurt. Another amazing thing about these beautiful ivory booties is the pointy toe. The pointy toe is going to elongate your legs, making you look taller and slimmer. And I always love mixing ivory and camel. I think that's a great color combination that's always is going to look more expensive than it really is because these Dolce Vita boots honestly remind me of like some Paris, Texas boots, but instead of being 800 plus dollars, they're very reasonably priced. 
You could always pair back this look with sneakers if you wanted to go even more casual. And then if you wanted to dress it up a bit and wear it out to dinner, you could swap out the booties for a really classic camel pump. Another way to look more expensive on a budget is to wear all black with a bold red lip. To me, there is nothing more sophisticated, nothing more elegant looking than a woman that walks into a room wearing all black and a bold red lip. I absolutely love it. A bold red lip will take you many places in style. It's also very glamorous looking. So honestly, if you do nothing else from this video, if you just wanna look luxe and look fabulous, just wear a red lip. That's also a fun thing to do when going to a holiday party or creating a look for New Year's Eve. So this is a fabulous look. Speaking of New Year's Eve, that would be perfect. This is a silk and salt slip dress. You guys, slip dresses are timeless. They're classic. They're never going to go out of style. And this one by Silk and Salt is amazing. This, the material is really soft. It's just a great cut. It's a great fit. I think there's something sexy and luxurious looking about a slip dress. I always love wearing my slip dresses with a third layer, a jacket, whether that be a blazer or a leather jacket. And this leather jacket by Karen Millen is to die for you guys. I love the Lux Gold hardware. That's another thing that's going to make a garment look more expensive than it really is, particularly a jacket. I think if it has gold hardware, it just looks more luxurious than say a leather jacket with silver hardware. So this real leather jacket by Karen Millen is amazing. The price point is actually really good for a real genuine leather jacket. The best part, you guys get 20% off this insanely cool leather jacket by Karen Millen with my special code, which will also be linked down below in my description box. Okay, another outfit by Silk and Salt. This one is also an all black ensemble. It's actually what I'm wearing right now. It's super comfortable. I'm working from home today. So this is what I will be wearing all day long. After this video, I'm gonna go into my office and edit it. Um, I love this set. It's a matching cardigan with a tank and some joggers. You guys, so comfortable. I could take the tank, wear it under a leather jacket with denim. I could wear the tank and the cardigan with jeans or a midi skirt. Like the possibilities are endless with matching sets because you can break them apart and wear them with different things, which is why I love a good matching set. This material is soft, it's comfortable, it's wrinkle free. Like this is the perfect outfit to wear when you know you're just gonna be working from home. Maybe it's a Saturday or a Sunday and you're gonna be like watching Netflix cozy on the couch, but you still wanna look cute and polished and put together. Like this matching set is perfect. And again, you guys will get 20% off. It would also make a great gift for some of those fabulous ladies on your list. Okay, the next thing that always looks expensive is faux leather or real leather. Leather just looks expensive. It doesn't matter if it's faux leather, vegan leather. Of course, real leather looks luxurious. Why? Because it's just a great fabric that's not going to wrinkle. It's gonna hold its shape really well. And I personally love leather. Like it's probably my favorite fabric to wear. So this is a gray pencil skirt, faux leather by Silk and Salt. You guys, I love this beautiful gray color. I think gray is a great alternative to wearing black. So maybe you're somebody who doesn't want to wear all black because it's too harsh on the skin. That's okay. I would say opt for a slate gray or a charcoal gray like this awesome midi skirt from Silk and Salt. You could wear this midi skirt on a date night, on a girl's night out, on New Year's Eve, to a holiday party. You could even wear it to the office with a blazer in a classic black pump. The price point is amazing. I decided to pair it back with this Karen Millen bustier top. Again, you guys will get 20% off the Karen Millen website. And then I topped it with this amazing Allison Olivia cropped blazer. You guys, I'm obsessed with this blazer because it's got the really big shoulder pads and what that's going to do besides make it look very fashion forward, it's also going to give you a waist and make your waist look smaller than it really is because your shoulders actually look broader than they really are with these accentuated shoulder pads so this blazer is really really cool you guys and i did find a great dupe on i think the express website so i'll be linking that down below as well and then i just went with the same bottega lace-up heels and my go-to ysl handbag 
All right, tip number four when wanting to look luxe on a budget is pay attention to the fabrics that you are wearing. Are you wearing fabrics that are thin and that wrinkle and that pill easy? You know, are you wearing fabrics that are worn out? Maybe you have a dingy white tee that you've been wearing for a while that you really need to replace. So paying attention to fabrics is key. Think about more natural fabrics that are gonna look more expensive like leather, like wool, like silk, and honestly, anything that's wrinkled free and a darker colored fabric as well as no prints. Anything solid is also going to look more expensive than say a printed fabric. So keep in mind your fabrics when deciding what to wear. So this is another casual look because I'm listening to you guys. I always love when y'all give me your opinions and you said, Heather, we want more casual looks, so here you go. This is a $98 faux fur jacket by Blink NYC, you guys. I just got sent to LA last week by Revolve. I was so excited to be included in this trip. It was so fabulous. And I bought this jacket. Um, at the Revolve Winterland event that I attended, which was so fabulous. You guys, I got to walk the red carpet. It was truly one of the most magical moments of my career. And I'm so grateful for all of you for letting me do what I love, which is helping you guys look and feel like the best versions of themselves. And I also wanna thank Revolve for sending me on this amazing trip to LA. But I found this fabulous Blank NYC faux fur jacket there. It's ivory, it, again, it's $98, so what a steal. But because it's this luxurious faux fur, it doesn't look like it's $98, you guys. Trust me, it looks way more expensive than it really is. This is what I wore out shopping one day there in Beverly Hills. I just wore this easy faux fur jacket, a simple bodysuit, and then these are some Citizen of Humanity jeans. They're called the Jolene. These are like the perfect version of a modern skinny jean, high wasted but more of a slim fit versus like that super tight jegging jean and then i just went with my go-to golden goose sneakers for an easy casual look perfect for running errands or shopping or what have you so I wanted to show y'all a dressier way to style this 98 dollars faux fur jacket by blink nyc i wore this to dinner one night I paired it over this blue velvet strapless top, which I actually thought was a top, and then I went to the website and I realized it's actually a skirt, but it doesn't really matter. You can mix and match and wear things the way you want to wear them, so always remember that. That's a great style tip. Even though this was meant to be a mini skirt, I styled it as a strapless top and it was perfect. I tucked it into these amazing A Gold E 90s faux leather pants. Again, because these are vegan faux leather, they're also gonna look more expensive than they really are. They're a beautiful ivory shade. These actually come in like six different colors, you guys, and they're my favorite pants to wear during the fall and winter because the fit is impeccable. They're high-waisted, they're a straight leg, so they're gonna do a great job of making your legs look taller and you look slimmer. So love these pants, especially when I know I'm gonna do an ivory or like an all-white ensemble. These are my go-to pants during the holiday season. I touched on this a second ago, but choosing neutral colors as opposed to like bright printed hues is definitely gonna look more expensive um, than it really is. So think of neutral shades like ivories, you know, whites, um, black, gray, camel, beige, tan, like all those earthy tones are gonna look way more expensive than say like bright fuchsia or bright purple or like a red and green plaid. Like no, stay away from those most of the time if you're really wanting to look more luxurious. Olive green is also another great color because it's more of an earth tone that's always gonna look more expensive than it really is. And that brings me to this amazing look. I love this olive green puffer from Nordstrom. You guys, it's a bit cropped. It's also sort of oversized, so it's very fashion forward. It has a beautiful gold zipper. So because of the gold zipper, it also looks more luxurious and more expensive than it really is. It's honestly very budget friendly and I love it. It comes in three different colors. It's just a super cool puffer. I paired it with some a simple black bodysuit. These are some black high-waisted modern skinny jeans, and then I tucked them into my favorite knee-high platform boots. These are from Saks, you guys, these are amazing. I think they're also on sale right now. They are a designer, so they are a little bit expensive, but I did find some fabulous platform knee-high boots on the Nordstrom website that I'll be sure and link below as well. And then this is another faux fur jacket. This is burgundy. So I think burgundy is another color that looks expensive. 
the, you know, it's luxurious looking because this is faux fur and then I topped it over a black dress. I think this outfit looks expensive, but honestly, the jacket is $98. The dress is like $78, but you would never know it because I really focused on choosing neutral colors, choosing great fabrics that are wrinkle free, you know, choosing fabrics that are more luxurious looking. So I really love this affordable look for say New Year's Eve, a date night or a girl's night out. Okay, the next style tip in order to look more luxe is anything croc embossed is going to look more expensive. So, so whether that's a pair of boots, whether that's a handbag or a belt, anything that's croc embossed always looks more luxurious looking and it doesn't even have to be real leather, you guys. So these boots by Shoots, they're a beautiful ivory croc embossed boot. They're very reasonably priced. They look just like the Paris, Texas croc embossed boots, but instead of being like 800 plus dollars, these are very budget friendly. The heel height's around, I think four inches, maybe three and a half inches. So honestly, you know, for a heeled boot, they're actually pretty comfortable and pretty wearable. So love these boots. I wear them all the time when I'm wearing an all white winter ensemble. I wore them with these fabulous Silver Lake ivory jeans. These are a great modern skinny jean, very high waisted with a slim tapered leg and then i went with my anine bing cozy beige sweater you guys i love this sweater if you live somewhere really cold this is the perfect sweater for you it's fabulous it's cozy and again because it's a neutral color it is going to look more luxurious than it really is and then i went with a gray cashmere scarf cashmere scarves are cozy they're just like one of my favorite things to wear in the winter season and they also make great gifts you guys Okay, this is the last tip, the one we've all been waiting for, and honestly, the most important tip, and one that I have done like literally since I was in college probably. Spend your money on your handbag and your shoes and your outfits, ladies. You don't have to spend money on any other part of your outfit, but if you have a high quality handbag, you're just gonna make the rest of your look appear more expensive and luxurious. And honestly, it doesn't even have to be a designer handbag. If it is a designer handbag, that's amazing. That always definitely creates, elevates any look, but it doesn't have to be a designer handbag. I would say if you're gonna choose a handbag that's not designer, I would go with a neutral color. Maybe pick one that's croc embossed. I would also choose one that is real leather, but you can find a real leather handbag that doesn't break the bank. Kurt Geiger is probably my favorite you know, high quality handbag designer. They design beautiful, beautiful handbags that honestly remind me of Chanel bags. But instead of being like $5,000, their handbags are all like under three, $400. So beautiful handbags. They have amazing hardware, silver and gold mixed hardware. So fabulous. I highly recommend giving Kurt Geiger handbags a try. But honestly, if you just carry a high quality handbag, designer handbag possibly, but not necessarily, you will elevate your looks and make them look more expensive. No doubt about it. For example, this is a gray under $50 sweater from Express. I love this sweater. It's sort of off the shoulder, but you don't have to wear it off the shoulder. You can wear it regular too. It's crazy soft. It's under $50, so super affordable. It comes in multiple colors. Because it's a neutral color and because it's a high quality fabric that's wrinkle free, it doesn't look like it costs under $50. You guys, this sweater looks way more expensive than it really is. And because I have a high quality, does this one happens to be a designer handbag, this is by Louis Vuitton, my whole outfit just looks more elevated and more luxurious and more expensive. Even though I am wearing ripped denim, some of you probably don't love ripped denim and that's okay. I like wearing ripped denim and you know what? That's all that matters. That's what I say. If you love wearing something, don't let someone else tell you you shouldn't wear it. What you should pay attention to is how you feel when you wear something. If you feel fabulous, if you feel confident and you feel amazing, guess what? You deserve to wear it. So these are Anina Bing jeans. I love these jeans. They're high waisted, a bit on the baggier side, which is definitely where this denim trend is heading this season. So those were seven style and shopping tips to help you look more expensive, even if you're on a budget. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I want to thank Silk and Salt again for sponsoring this video. Remember, everything I featured in this video that's from Silk and Salt, you guys will get 20% off with my special code HEATHER20, which will be linked down below in my description box. For more style information, you can head over to SoHeather.com and on Instagram, I'm SoHeatherBlog. I hope you guys have a beautiful day because you deserve it. And I will look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye-bye.